Coming up, our Hokahe Challenge update with Chris Stories. Day two of the Hokahe Motorcycle Challenge. Today's update brought to you in part by Petro Marine Services and Petro Express, proudly fueling your challenge update. Latitude 59, your home for all things gourmet. Stop in for a Hoka Mocha at Boardwalk Fish and Chips at the end of the road. Boardwalk Fish and Chips on the Homer Spit. Meet Todd Cook. By day, Todd is a water treatment plant operator in Homer, Alaska. By night and weekend, an avid Harley rider. I spoke with Todd early this morning on the side of a road in Georgia about his Hokahe Challenge so far. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Where are you? Georgia. Georgia. Man, you're making good time. Uh, we're doing okay. Got the map give you a more, more uh, complete look. We're just about to cross into Bama here pretty quick. How many miles into the challenge are you? Uh, we're over 1,000. I'm riding with a guy from Arizona, teamed up to keep each other awake and on the right track. South of Columbus, we're going go, to go up over Columbus, kind of towards LaGrange, and, and um, drop into Alabama, somewhere probably north of Auburn. Todd, is there a specific route you have to take or just have to show up at a specific checkpoint? Um, there's a specific route you have to take. And they didn't, they didn't GPS us or they didn't put chips in like they were talking about. So what they do is we have to save our gas receipts along the route because it shows the addresses of the gas station so they know that you filled up along the route. How, how, many, um, how many miles a day are you planning to travel? Well, we did uh, eight, eight or 900 last night. We did uh, The first checkpoint was 616. We got uh, misdirected a couple times. There was a couple of accidents. We stopped to help out at one of them. Um, first accident with four bikers, a couple of bikers making the U-turn. Guys behind them didn't see it. They slammed into them. One guy, the, the cops say, is probably going to lose his leg. So we got out of that mess. We headed down the road, and it wasn't even 30 minutes later. We come around a corner, and there's another cop or a deputy. And clothes and bikes and pieces of bikes scattered all over the road. Two bikes went off the road in the corner. So we get out to see if the deputy needed to make sure everybody was okay, see if the deputy needed a hand. They had medevac the guys already. We're looking at their junk, and I see an Alaska hog chapter flag lay, laying on the ground. I pick it up and I show one of the other guys. At the time, there was three of us riding there. It was an Alaskan, a guy from Cordova. So we asked the cop their names, and I forget their last names, but one guy is from Cooper Landing, and the other guy is from Anchorage. The cop says they, got, they had to go to the hospital, but he says they're going to be okay. They're just scraped up and, and beat up a little bit. So well, that, good news good is news. that the two Alaskans that got in an accident seem to be um, like they're going to be okay, although they their bikes are going to need some help. So, um, well, what do, you, yeah. do you think it's a little bit of a experience or lack thereof that, that can cause some of these early accidents? Yeah, well, everybody's so pumped up you know i mean there's testosterone at max level there's a half million of gold at the end of the rainbow mm -hmm. and coming off of key west you know you got there's only about 450 425 bikes enrolled but anyway you got 400 guys blazing down one road because it's until you until we got past miami or out of miami uh you know and, and people started to get lost and started to fill up with gas everybody started with a full tank so podcast the entire interview with todd cook okay challenger from homer alaska at our website radio realty dot us radio realty dot us keep your dial set right here for continued updates during news scan at noon and five today's challenge update brought to you in part by lower peninsula power sports located out east end road with a full line of yamaha motorcycles hit the open road at lp power sport Rhonda johnson with alaska usa mortgage bringing the american dream of home ownership to you at rondajohnson.net and the historic salty dog saloon on the homer spit pick up your salty dog t-shirt today at saltydogsaloon.com